Hello. Yes, we're doing this at 2.05 live. Uh, I figured it was about time I did this. This was always in the plans. I was supposed to do this on release day of this DLC, but better late than never, hey? It's time to see who's the best male superstar in the Banzai pack for WWE 2K22. The first DLC pack released for the game. And we're starting things off with this big boy, Omos. Oh, Moss, as the uh, W ring announcer likes to call him, with his added syllables. So, I believe by quite some distance, this is the tallest participant in this match, but probably also the lightest. Like, I get you're going to weigh a certain amount just by being that tall, but some big boys in this match. Some big boys. Big meaty men slapping meat. Or oh, whatever it was Big E said. This is uh, Big E's wet dream match right now. Hell yeah. Come into the ring next. Rikishi! And it's too cool, Rikishi. It's not I did it for the rock, Rikishi. <laughs> was anyone really surprised when it was this version of Rikishi? Hmm? <laughs> Someone's well into this, did you hear that? Yeah! Yeah, that's it! So yeah, I figured we'd put these four on 205 Live because I couldn't think what show to do this match on. And then 205 Live was there and I was like, yep, yeah, that's hilarious. The entire 205 Live roster combined at any given moment in WWE history probably doesn't weigh as much as these four combined. Because, as I have stated, big boys, here's Yokozuna. The biggest of boys. Certainly in terms of weight, he uh, definitely wins the, uh, the big boy contest in this match. But the most important metric is who wins a WWE 2K22 match simulation, of course. So, we're about to see if Olmos can hang with these legends of the business. Someone's a big Yokozuna fan? You'd love to hear it. Some people not so much. Did you hear those boos then? Yoko Boo, no? Am I right? Okay, let's get the last participant out here. Long time since this guy's been in a WWE game. Nice to see him back. Rest in peace, Eddie Fatu. Here is Yamanga. Go get him. I don't think Umaga needs any encouragement in that regard. So yes, as it says in the background there, the Samoan bulldozer. Here we go. So we've got three Samoans, one of whom is pretending to be Japanese in his kayfabe gimmick. And where's Omar? I feel like, is Omos from Nigeria? I feel like he's like dual nationality, somewhere in Europe maybe. 
and Nigeria. It says Nigerian American, but I'm sure I've seen that his uh, heritage has something else in there. It says he was born actually in Nigeria. Oh, and he's just been flattened by Yokozuna. Maybe I'm thinking of someone else. Yeah, all I'm seeing is Nigerian American on uh, the old Google. Anyway, oh, he might have just flatlines uh, Rikishi. Well, Yokozuna having no mercy on the new guy. Almost taking a beating at the hands of the former WWF champion. Drops the forearm. Rikishi and Umaga going at it. Oh, Samoan drop! Look at the strength of Yokozuna. Oh, just drops almost across the top rope. Oh, he misses and hits the mat this time. Meanwhile, Umaga sweeps the leg of Rikishi. And then slams his head into the mat. Big knee to the face of Omas. Umaga's up on the middle rope. Massive shoulder tackle. And now in that very same corner, which now means you've drawn the attention of Umaga while Rikishi rolls to the outside to recover somewhat. Uh-oh. Is Umaga got in mind here? Cross body block across the back of Yokozuna as his neck was across the middle rope. And then a leaping headbutt to the midsection. Yokozuna is down and out. And Umaga is establishing himself as dominant in the early stage of this match. He's got the, uh, the, claw, the double claw, the double nerve hold on Omos. And now the back rake as well. That's not very nice. Meanwhile, Rikishi is just having a lovely dance. Now with the head vice as well. And Rikishi has seen enough. He doesn't think Omos is going to submit to a head vice. So he goes after Yokozuna. That might not be the smartest play. Nope. There he goes. Anyway, action in the ring. This is not a false count anywhere, so we can just watch what's going on in the ring with a brief glance at what's going on outside. We've seen a Samoan, uh, Samoan drop, then some rights and lefts by Umaga, and now Omos onto the apron. And now everyone's outside except Umaga, including Umaga. So now I guess we pick and choose who we watch. Umaga versus Omos on one side of the ring, Kishi versus Yokozuna on the other. Another flatliner type move, this time to Omos by Umaga, and now just punching him in the side of the head. What if Rikishi just got, I think, a bat out from under the ring? Of course, fatal four ways are contested under no disqualification, no count out rules. And that's another Simone drop by Umaga, this time on the outside to Omos. This is hard to keep up with. Now into the ring goes Omos. Meanwhile, Rikishi's got a nerve hold on Yokozuna on the outside, who flips it around and sweeps the leg. Uh oh, Umaga. He's got almost by the throat. Oh, Yokozuna's got the bat. He's just hitting Rikishi with a bat. I didn't quite see what happened to Omos then in the ring, but he's down. Umaga's going for the pin, and he gets it. I didn't see what happened to him then, but Umaga picks up the win. Yokozuna's down and out on the outside. Rikishi couldn't get to make the save on time. I don't know what move happened there. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. I mean, I'll see it in editing, but let me know in the comments. Comments, good. But yeah, also, also good is exactly what Umaga's asking you to do there. Leave a thumbs up. Leave a like. Don't eat your thumb. Leave a thumbs up uh, for this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. And share with your friends if you think they would enjoy some simulated gameplay content. But for now, all I have left to say is thank you very much for watching. As always, I've been Ibiza. You've been amazing. And I will see you next time.